police headquarters. Inspector Hoskins speaking. <laughs> police. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> Sam Blake speaking. Thirty-seven Hudson Way. Come quick. My wife is dead. <laughs> Gas. Dead. How long? I don't know. Just got home. Thirty-seven Hudson Way. Okay, be right out. And in the meantime, you better throw open those windows and doors. Hey, Mike, grab your chapeau. We got some calling to do. Mr. Blake? Uh, yes, Inspector. Come right here. Thanks. Oh, uh, Mr. Blake, my assistant, Mike Kosky. Howdy. Where's the body? You haven't moved her? Uh, no, no, sir. She's here in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Right where I found her. Uh-huh, of course. Well, Mike and I, I'll just have a look. And there she is, Inspector. Dead as a doornail. Mm. Gassed, all right. You can still smell a little. Yeah, it looks like most of the gas came from the oven. The door's still a little open. What's that? My simple powers of deduction would say it's a bird. Oh, there it is, a canary, a bird cage in the kitchen, huh? Yeah, but uh, right now we better get back to Mr. Blake. Now, Mr. Blake, if you don't mind, there are just a few routine questions. I'd like to know exactly what happened. Well, sir, I, I just come home from the game tonight. I, I'm quite a fan, but my wife didn't care much for sports, so I usually went alone. As I was saying, the game was over about 10.20, I should say. And you came right home? Yes, sir. I, I drove and made it home about 11. I, I thought I smelled something when I tried the door, and the minute it was open, it hit me in the face. Gas all over the place. I rushed in, calling to Jane, and when I went to turn off the jets, I, I found it there on the floor, dead. I see. Of course, I, I knew she was gone when I found her. First thing I could think of was to call the police. Your uh, wife has obviously been dead since about ten. Mr. Blake, if you don't mind my asking, just uh, what happened in the last few seconds of play at the game? Why, Zachowitz fumbled and Carlton recovered for an 80-yard touchdown run. Look here, Inspector. What are you driving at? Just that in case this shouldn't be suicide, I wanted to know if you could back up your alibi. Not suicide? What are you driving at, boss? Yes, Inspector. What are you driving at? Just this, Mr. Blake. I arrest you for the murder of your wife. What did Mr. Blake overlook? Do you know the clue? In a moment, we'll hear firsthand from the inspector. But first... deduction are the same as the inspector. Uh, you can't arrest me. I was at the game till 10.20. I, I proved it. And you said yourself my wife died 20 minutes before. I haven't forgotten the powers of radio, Mr. Blake, but there are a few things you did forget. First of all, if you wanted to kill your wife and then make it look like she was overcome by gas, it might have helped if you'd turned on enough gas. Your wife was dead from another cause, the source of which will be found in an autopsy before the gas jet was even opened. The thing you forgot, Mr. Blake, is that canaries are quite as susceptible to gas as human beings. If there had been enough gas in that kitchen to kill a woman, a small bird certainly could not have survived. And your singing canary is still alive, Mr. Blake. Very much alive. 